Well, what's up, peoples? Live from Medellin. Um, I just wanted to comment on, you know, buying land, buying property um, in Latin America, just from my experience. Um, I have property uh, land in Colombia and also um, looked into buying land in DR. And um, I noticed that, you know, a lot of brothers get excited about opportunities and they don't, you know, whatever, for whatever reason, they don't like to let people know what they're doing or thinking. And they trust somebody and they go full steam ahead with the transaction. And, you know, you may try to explain stuff to them and they'd be like, I know, I know, I know, I know what I'm doing. And they end up getting, being burnt in the end. So instead of me waiting for people to ask questions, I'm just going to try to put the information out there. So the first thing is, is that um, I'm going to speak for Colombia and the Dominican Republic is the same way. Any piece of property or land is registered at some local office that you can go to. Or for Colombia, it's online. The yard doesn't really have as many online resources as Colombia, so you would have to probably go in person and things like that. Um, from my experience, attorneys are not as knowledgeable as the realtors. So a lot of people think, oh yeah, just get an attorney, get a real estate attorney. They spend their time researching things that you can do on your own. The realtors already know the information, you know, in and out. But the, the lawyers, they, they researching, you're paying them to do research, and that's not always good. So, um, so for a lot, for example, there's two, there's two things, well, three things people try to do to get over. One is someone tries to sell you something that they don't own. And the way to get around that is, one, you have to know the location of the lot, the address, the GPS coordinates. Um, you can hire somebody to do the land, um, you know, you can hire somebody to do the land um, survey. You can use your phone to identify GPS coordinates, your Google Maps. If you know the address, that's cool too. So, and you can have a realtor and yourself research um, this this and see who the owner is. The other thing people do is is that someone that actually owns the property may try to, let's say they own like an acre of land and they're going to section off the acre of land into like eight plots. So what they'll do is they'll try to sell you a plot, but the land that's registered at the registry is just that acre. And so what the owner has to do is they have to rezone that acre into eight plots and each plot will have its own deed. And until they do that, they can't sell you something that don't exist. So a lot of times they try to sell you something that don't exist and then, they, and then they're working on getting the, um, the deed for it, which could take years. Because rezoning, just like in the U.S., rezoning is a process. It could take, it could take a lot of time in the U.S., so it, it takes more time in another country. And if they owe money on the land, for example, a situation I had ran into, um, and my realtor caught it, is that they were trying to raise money to pay off these taxes so they could, you know, section off and give people deeds. But if they don't, if they don't make enough money to pay the taxes off, you done gave them your money, and you waiting. No, you got as a promissory note, you know, and you know you could sue a person and win a lawsuit, but you know I mean they that, that, don't, that doesn't mean you're gonna get your money back. So that's another thing. Um, what else? The third thing is, um, yeah, I think I mentioned the third thing is they could they could have um, liens or or um, on a property and things like that. So you want to be able to check that as well. Um, so that's just buying land. Same thing applies if you want to buy a condo or buy an existing house. You want to check the ownership. Um, the the in Colombia is called a matricula and teach and titular. It's basically like a deed and title. And so you can get that information um, if you know the address and the order coordinates. 
And you have to be careful too because somebody can give you that. So the deed can say this address at this court, this coordinates. So what you what a good person surveyor would do is they'll check the coordinates and then make sure the address match, matches up. Because if one don't matches, somebody could say, hey, this is my land. I have the deed. These are the coordinates. The address is not as accurate as the coordinates. And if, if people don't know what coordinates is, it's a series of numbers, northwest, south, east, west, identifying four, four points. So that's my two cents. Hope uh, anybody have any questions, leave in the comments. Peace.